Hey guys, today I'll be uh, doing my WBBL. Um, welcome back to the channel. I'll be doing my WBBL um, review um, on the game that occurred uh, not too long ago now. Melbourne Stars versus the Strikers. Um, and it was a loss. Um, I did not see any of this game. I uh, had school for a part of it and I am very, very busy on Wednesday nights, which is quite unfortunate because I'll never be able to watch um, Strikers games that occur on Wednesday nights. Uh, and I think this is the only one, I hope. I definitely hope because I could not watch any of the game. I haven't even watched the highlights. haven't watched a single second. I'm just going by what it says on here. Anyway, it was a... It was a bad loss, indeed. It was a... I mean, it was an intriguing match. Um, a very, very interesting match, indeed. Um, the North Sydney Oval must be a pretty good oval uh, for batting because the Melbourne Stars put up a very, very nice 186. Um, and our bowling wasn't amazing. We, yeah, we did get five wickets, which isn't bad. Um, but then again, our bowling wasn't great. I mean, you had a five LB... Uh, looks which wasn't bad. Uh, there were some LBs that probably would have been given um, But we had seven wides as well and it's, our bowling was really bad You look at all our bowlers Megan shoot 43 runs given up Brown 38 Dotton 34 Wellington 31 Farsby 23 um, Or three overs uh, Amanda J Wellington was 31 or three overs Jesus bloody Christ uh, And Penner who bowled two overs, um, was hit for 12, um, was not good at all, um, and some of their batters were very, very good, uh, Elise Capsey and, uh, Tess Flintoff were probably their best, uh, Capsey got five fours and two sixes, Flintoff got six fours and three sixes, had a very, very high 318.75 strike rate, um, also hitting a boundary, was um a six sorry was Winfield Hill who was forty seven or forty nine five fours, um in terms of our batting again wasn't um amazing but there was a couple batters that I'm just getting a bit frustrated with and uh the big ones Talia McGrath um Talia McGrath is out of form and um yeah she was shocking yet again shocking um and. If she hit a couple of balls, we could have won the game, I reckon. Um, and again, the other one that I'm a bit frustrated with is Deandra Dotton. Um, she, you know, she just struggles. Yeah, she can hit big shots, but she just doesn't stay in for long and long enough for us to get a good score to win. And it was quite disappointing, I must say. It was quite disappointing, this game. And um, look, we came in favourites. I definitely backed us in. I did, was not expecting a Melbourne Stars win. But don't be fooled by the Melbourne Stars. They're probably at least a fifth, sixth place finished side. Um, they're actually not that bad as they look. And they could pull off a couple sneaky upsets here and there. We have to play them again next Saturday. Um, so I'm not look, look, looking forward to that. I will be watching this game though. Um, it'll be at Lydic Hill Park, which is a bit of a different oval. Um, but hopefully we can get some vengeance on the stars because they played quite well and um yeah we don't we don't want to play them again that's for sure and yes we do have to play them again uh, but I hope you enjoyed the review and hopefully the strikers can bounce back and beat the stars in a couple of days time go strikers.